judge takes his chair. He's convinced he's a genius. His morning drink gives him strength, and he considers the prisoner. Philip stands in chains, ankles and handcuffs, completely unashamed, he smiles and tries to wave. They gave us five minutes alone together, in a room filled with echoes. Every time I touch Philip's hand, a guard burst in. The first time he warned me. The second time he stood in the door. The third time he threw me out. They wanted to know how I could be his sister. And where did I live and what was my last name? And how could we be related because of the colors of our skin in this great racist colony? I watched as the full force of common law came crashing down on Philip like a tidal wave. In the Edmonton Reman, in the elevators to the cells, he slipped a bony hand out of a handcuff and held his free arm in the air. Four guards stood like pillars, afraid of what he might do. So long considered a dangerous prisoner, he laughed. We were the same age, exactly. Grew up not ten miles apart, but worlds and worlds away. He on the reserve, me in an all-white suburb. And his grandparents were raising him until the children's aid. Decreed they were too old and he was sent to foster homes. Several trials later, with pigs in red and pigs in blue and pigs in suits and pigs in red, talking in French about open, he always called from jail. He was proud and determined, and when he finally went home, when he finally went home, in 1988, after a lifetime away, someone found him at a friend's house, not sleeping, not asleep again. the judge, not I set the guards, not I set the court, not I set the lawyers, not I set the prosecutor, not I set the warden, not I set the people. Not I said the people on the war on drugs. It's just a war on the poor. You never ask those kids, what are they taking it for? To kill the pain, to swallow the rage, to extinguish the hatred. justice 
and destroys the hope of generations. And not even the frantic singing of the nighttime whippoorwill can bring back the useless sacrifice.
sun slips down like a coyote into the ditch.
محمود